There's something strange in my neighborhood and I don't know who to call. But today we're going to make a corpse reviver number two. Or the French translation is corpse reviver number two. This is a pretty classic cocktail. Um, it is one of the Savoy Hotel cocktail book's most famous cocktails, I would say. I would hazard a guess. Um, it's also one of, uh, one of my personal favorites. It's a gin-based cocktail. Uh, it's got some really nice notes. Um, and it's also pretty zesty and fresh and fun. And you know how I like that. Uh, the Savoy Hotel cocktail book, for a bit of back history, um, detailed a small list of drinks called Corpse Revivers. There was number one, there was number two, and they're the two that are still in rotation today. This list was compiled by Harry Craddock, who was the then head bartender at the Savoy Hotel cocktail bar, the American bar. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to make the gin based one. The first one was with Applejack. Um, I'm using Esther Dry. Esther Dry is 43%. Uh, it's heavy with juniper in the back palette with some really nice bold botanicals, nothing too floral, but it gives a really nice backbone to uh, the cocktail. You don't want anything too light and too dry here. You want some nice oils that will mix into the drink. Our next ingredient will be the Maidenai or Medini Kina Vermouth. Now, as we know, vermouth is a bonded wine with wormwood and various other herbs and spices and botanicals in there. This one's more in that classic French Blanco style. It's a bit more floral. It has really nice oils. And then we're using a triple sec. Now, triple sec, I would much prefer to use a triple sec than a dry curacao in this because you want those bright, light, sugary notes of citrus. You don't want anything too low or too subtle because you're mixing it equal parts. So you want something that's gonna hold up and give you that nice bright citrus element that we're looking for in this cocktail. The last ingredient is absinthe. Now, all we're doing with the absinthe is a spray. You want a nice um, kind of, a, a, a very fragrant absinthe really, because that's the thing that we're spraying on over the top of the drink as a garnish. It's more there for the nose. It adds very little to the actual palate of the drink. So make sure when you are looking for an absinthe to use, you find something that has those really nice aniseed notes and nothing to, oh, hey, we've, it's green. <laughs> To make it, we're gonna use our standard shaking equipment. We're gonna need a Boston glass. We're gonna need a shaker. We're gonna need our jigger. We're gonna need a fine tea strainer. And we are gonna need a Hawthorne strainer. I feel like there's a joke about Boston tea, but we'll never find it here. All right, now, the ingredients are quite simple. It's easy measurements. Um, we're just gonna do 30, 30, 30 of everything, including the citrus. And I'll probably start with the citrus, to be honest. Now, the um, Corpse Reviver has been a bit of a kind of hospitality favorite. It's been such a favorite that one of the staff at Dulce's has it. <coughs> Who's coughing now? It's such a favorite that the, one of the bartenders at Dulce's actually has the original Savoy cocktail specs tattooed onto his arm, which is dedication of some sort, I guess. It's a cool tattoo. Would I get it? No. D do I make him show it to people? Yes. All right, so once you've pressed three, 30 mils of lemon, we're gonna start adding the booze. I've cut my finger and it really hurts. That is acid. Um, I don't know what else is, that's about, but I'm not a scientist. Now, 30 mils of dry gin. You do want um, an easy, straightforward gin, nothing too full on in, in regards to bot um, fragrant botanicals, but heavy botanicals that give you nice oils and mouthfeel would be quite good for this. You wanna do 30 mils of Maiden Ikena or your vermouth. And then 30 mils of triple sec. Now you can go with the old faithful Cointreau or you can find something a bit more local. People are even starting to experiment with things like mandarin or grapefruit and that's also okay. To the ice. Now fill your glass with ice, seal your tin on top, flip it over so the glass is on top and you wanna shake for about 20 seconds.
That's all we need to do. Now, make sure the rem remnants of that is out of the tin, uh, into the tin, out of the glass. Put your Hawthorne strain on top. Go back to the fridge because you're ill prepared. Grab your frosted large coupe. And we're going to pour into the glass and leave a healthy wash line. Now, the one thing you want to do is to finish this drink, we're going to get our spray of absinthe. If you don't have an atomizer, you can just rinse the glass previous to adding the ingredients and throw away any residual absinthe. But I like to spray the glass with a couple of sprays. I like aniseed, so I'm going to do a little bit more. And then that's it. A Corpse Reviver number the. Oh, woof. Yeah, that's... That's good. That's real good.